Good morning, Dungeon Fodder. Welcome to Tracy and Laura Hickman's Killer Breakfast. Not just the best reason, but the only reason to come to this convention. Our infamous Game Masters have been serving up champions for breakfast for over a decade, with 42 million characters slain. Whether you're a seasoned Killer Breakfast veteran or a newcomer wondering if your boyfriend is worth all this, please pay attention as we go over a few important safety tips. The first rule is, your character will die. No amount of begging, pleading, threatening, weeping, or rules lawyering will change this fact. Next, each player who wants to play must have an official pre-generated character that represents your heroic self in the game. Your character's stats are low, his weapons are second rate, his armor is rusted, and he has a tendency to drool and belch at inappropriate moments. This character is specifically designed so that you will in no way become attached to it. It is against Killer Breakfast rules to change your character's statistics. Violators will cause a temporal rift, and your character will die. Note that your character sheet includes several important blanks. First, the space labeled Spring to Life At. Note the time that you sat down at the table. Be sure to include seconds. Next, the unjustly demised at space. Write down the time that your character died. And again, you might want to include seconds. Finally, compare the two scores for your total lifespan, which is probably measured only in seconds. Please note that negative lifespan scores are entirely possible based on the whim of your game master. All players at the table will find your pathetic first level characters pitted against monsters so mean, so horrible, and so fearsome that they can kill your character on their initiative roll alone. Only three things will keep your character alive from round to round. One, doing something incredibly brave. Two, doing something incredibly stupid. Note that these are often the same thing. And three, doing something incredibly entertaining. Please note, what constitutes brave, stupid, and especially entertaining is the sole opinion of the Game Master. The moment your death is more entertaining than you are, your character will die. In the event of your character's approaching death, an oxygen mask may deploy from the overhead compartment. Pull the mask over your head and pull the straps on either side. Older adventurers should put on their own masks first and then help younger adventurers. If there is no overhead compartments, then your character will die. We have a full game today, so all seats at the gaming table must be occupied at all times. In the event that your character dies, and you will die, a new player will immediately take your place. Remember, when you sit down at the table, be prepared to explain how your character arrived in the adventure at this particular point in the story. If your explanation is too long, too boring, too stupid, over elaborate, unoriginal, gross, not entertaining, pathetic, inappropriate in most states, espouses spousal abuse, espouses substance abuse, involves unnatural acts, is tasteless, involves official game rooms, is argumentative, or has anything to do with dancing mamas, or is found in otherwise objectionable by the game master for any other reason, then you will die. Get up from the table and let the next player try to succeed where you failed. And finally, there is no actual breakfast served at Killer Breakfast. So if you came for the buffet, your character just died, probably of starvation. We caution you that the eating of your character sheets might be harmful to your health. That's it. Now fasten your seatbelt, hang on tight, you're about to launch into an adventure like no other. To boldly die in ways no character has died before. Live on this stage, it's Killer Breakfast.